over to truth now for Klaus Niedzvitz as he guns the ANZ Sierra across the starting line. The left-hander brings the power on now and it will clearly scoot up the mountain. A little unfortunate here two years ago, leading the race. Of course, ran second here back a couple of years and uh, was eliminated along with uh, Klaus Ludwig here that the Texaco Sierras were out here. It's wobbling around just a touch. Repco Ben now the steep climb up the mountain. He goes wide and straight over our camera. On the way to BB Cutter. Gives you a great sense of speed, doesn't it? Fairly flying through the cutting. A little more fortunate this year too, Bruce, that uh, the uh, top ten has been preceded by a warm-up race for production cars, so they really do have a clean track. And the weather all week has just been perfect, hasn't it? Superb. Couldn't have asked for more. Crowds have been big. Atmosphere's just great. So everything's in order for something very fast. Remembering Grice the fastest. All G-Rule problems there at 216.17. He lost a little time across there. The quickest through the split was 113.16 and we reckon he might be at 111.23 so he's miles inside of that so we could be looking at something approaching the Longhurst 1384 at this stage. Gee. How close did he go by the wall of the exit? Now taps open, Rudy's rocking and pays all the way down Conrad straight. This guy looks just so smooth in a race car. Just listen for the car and the approach to Caltex Chase. No braking. Geez, well inside Grice. Grice is at about two minutes here at 2.16. So we are looking at, uh, remember, 2.13.84 is the track record set by uh, Longhurst and also Jones. So this could be something very special from uh, Needswitz. Makes the final turn into pit straight. And will he be under 2.13? Or it's a formality, he'll be under Grice at uh, 2.16. And he is, we reckon, just missing it at 2.13.94. That is an excellent, excellent lap. 2.13.94. Now they've really put the pressure on the uh, the B&H team and also uh, Dick Johnson to go quicker.